One of my colleagues in Australia, who's a world expert on corals, has said, we may be the last generation to see coral reefs as we know them. That's because coral bleaching is killing reefs worldwide. Corals um, live in a complex symbiotic relationship with small microscopic algae that are all over their tissues. And most of the color that you see in corals, the browns, the greens, the yellows, um, are due to the symbiotic algae, not to natural pigments in the corals. These algae undergo photosynthesis and provide nutrients for the corals. In turn, the corals provide uh, shelter in a place for protection for the symbiotic algae. So it's a relationship where both partners really benefit. When water temperature gets too hot, they expel these um, symbiotic algae out of their bodies. And if that's only for a short period of time, the corals can recover and acquire new algae. But sometimes the corals just die if the warm water conditions persist for too long. And that's just what happened this past summer in the Coral Triangle. The Coral Triangle is the area um, of greatest marine diversity anywhere in the world. And it basically stretches from the Philippines to Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. What we've seen this last summer has been truly shocking. Terry went diving in the coral reefs near Phuket, Thailand in July. Well, I got there and lo and behold, 90% of the reefs were dead or dying. And this was because in May of this year, the water temperature got up to 91 or 93 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's just too hot for coral survival. I talked to colleagues from, from Malaysia and Indonesia, and they said the same thing is happening there, and that this is really one of the most extensive coral bleaching events that we've ever witnessed. Then I started receiving word that some of the reefs that I've been studying in the Philippines for 20 years um, were starting to show signs of bleaching and we virtually never saw bleaching there. This was an area where um, things were well protected. So Terry went back to the Philippines to see the damage firsthand. When I went in the water in se at the end of September, what I found is that about 10 to 30 percent of the corals were bleached in an area that had never shown any signs of bleaching other than the occasional single coral head. And this was really shocking to me because, you know, I had been there a couple months before and everything looked great. On many levels we should be concerned. First of all, individual reefs are disappearing and it's now estimated that 70 to 80 percent of coral reefs worldwide are threatened by different human activities, including climate change. And secondly, you know, the fact that coral reefs have, um, they're about one quarter of one percent of the ocean surface, but they have 25 percent of the biodiversity of life. And so if coral reefs disappear, a quarter of all of the marine species that are on the planet will disappear as well. And that's a huge cause of concern for biodiversity loss. Many of these species that live on coral reefs have unique chemical properties and are being studied to produce um, new pharmaceutical products and drugs that have been shown to help fight cancer and HIV and other important diseases for humans. So the loss of coral reefs not only represents a loss of diversity, but it represents a loss of our own well-being on the planet. One of the very hopeful signs in the Philippines is that local communities are taking a lot of care and effort to build a sustainable future and they're protecting their reefs in ways that haven't always happened historically. For us, we have to take responsibility as well to protect coral reefs and um, the best way we can do that is to make sure that as a developed industrial nation that we utilize our energy well, we migrate to non-CO2 producing energy sources and that um, we have to do this as rapidly as possible to ensure that, that much of the world's biodiversity, and particularly coral reefs, survive for the next generations.